Amen. Oh God, is this? Pia! Telling you to greedy people. Ghanaian leaders are greedy people. NDC and PP all together greedy. Bitterness can lead them to murder. They can murder you. But how do you feel? Share and party, padaso, ebon canali, rusted beds, rusted louvers, broken places. I want to ask the Ghana Police Service when are we going to use computers to receive statements of corporates? When are you going to stop writing with pen and paper? The poor Achebe Police Station, I'm punching the I'm telling you the truth. I'm punching the guru, my quack, or we, a real one, my baby, poor Risa. Ghana was so funny. In fact, Untia will be tea. That that taxi driver that died at Kasua drew promiscuity. Men can answer because I have been warning this nation that promiscuity will take you to hell. Yet they are not understanding that. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you: only Obama take, only Obama take, what worry no woman take, and no and so any, and so any. The little foxes will kill you when your time is not up. Who brings you? But who be who start punching because of the little foxes? I'm telling you, because of the little foxes. Right? There are people seated here. They love Jesus, filled with the Holy Ghost. They speak in tongues. They are so winners. But little foxes will deny them something serious. Little foxes. Little foxes. We need probably one more out to me and say, we would have eaten and we need to come and make dono and all that. But the name of we eat and go jaya. Little foxes and I know. Sacraman, get in, get in. Ah, oh, you have come and oh, you are nice. But, sana dear we eat. We eat free more and cut. We be on him, says Solomon, was a wise man. How can wisdom deny you discipline? The little foxes will do that. You are wise, but tea. You are wise, but the foxes will deny you discipline. 700 wives, 300 concubines. Still, he is not content. Thousand women are in your bed. Still, you are not content. Ha! Sacraman kitten kitten and the idea be but two so a friend a conobone. Omu and numan sabruns are addicted to it now. It is the foxes that is doing that. Yeah. One numbi and hunton. I was in the ghetto preaching the other day and I saw young girls. Omushiri. Young girls, I'm talking about 16 years, 17 years. We name all the different names of we. And the foxes have denied. And then you say, your parents are there and you feel that oh you will be. But give it a little more over 10 years. will be on our life. Nobody will care about your life. You have been a Christian for all these years. Don't waste the grace of God. Don't waste the grace. We are here in church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we are wasting years and opportunity and wasting resources and wasting gifts and oils and anointings. You know, we have preached to you for over whatever thing and all that. And still, you are in your madness. I came to talk to you out of the little foxes. Ghana, at the end, Uncle, what we hear you. What does this nation need again? But the little foxes will never allow our leaders to liberate themselves to let alone liberate anybody. Greed is a fox. Greed is a fox. Greedy 
people. Ghanaian leaders are greedy people. NDC, MPP, all together, greedy. You are greedy people until you repent from your greed, you will all perish in hellfire. I told you the mind of God. God will judge you from all cause and all discourse. I'm talking to the wise one. Allow me to develop, you know, put the points here for those of us who have joined us for the very first time. And so I said the first hope that can be able to destroy a person's destiny is deception. The deception I'm talking about begins with self-deception. The Bible said the devil lied to himself. First, before he lied to Adam, he had lied to himself. And so the devil looked in the mirror and said to himself, Lucy, 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 you are the champion. When you are not the champion. Lucifer lied to himself. Now Lucy, baby, everything is fine. You are, you are the God. You are God, not God. God is not God. Lucy is God. Lucy have lied to himself. The Bible said, and then were they cast down into the earth. And so the book of Revelation said, Woe unto you, O earth, for your adversary have been cast down. Blessed are you, O heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Woe unto you, where Lucy is coming. Lucy is coming somewhere. Revelation chapter 12 verse number 12. Therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in heaven. Woe unto the inhabitants of Abekakamashi. Woe unto Odoko. Woe unto Awoshi Malam. Woe unto New York New Jersey. Woe unto Maryland London. Woe unto Amsterdam and Zurich. Woe unto Cape Town and woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath me and me on someone with Jarof with Jebruta <laughs> coming with great anger because he knows that his time is short now same time I be well sorry them and what people will be a you know a dimension or you have me or you as well I can't even see you so you can and so the next fault is pleasure. Being a scope is what chain I hear Juma breast saying, You be when you better hope as what chain it. I live with a blow cash, continue to blow cash. This thing have denied African leaders the opportunity to make a good legacy. Pleasure. The most wealthiest man in the whole of Africa. In history, until now, nobody has broken his record. Not a Likudangote, not any African has broken his record. Mansa Musa, the greatest and richest, you know, man ever lived on this continent. If you go to the Mali Empire, which is Mali as a country right now, you will never see anything that anybody that was so wealthy lived in that place. Pleasure! Has denied us pleasure. Then let me tell you, <laughs> pleasure would deny you of your inheritance. As I say, I'm not joking. I know a man who I was born here in Tesano. I lived in Fadama and Abeka, and I can. I know a man here whose children were left with great inheritance. Menu kase oma bodam. Because of pleasure. Three brothers. Yomu kwa bruchiri. Omu de dam ne bai. Cocaine. Cocaine. Me se. Me nya sofwa. Kame kwa na pasta. I close the answer pao. And kame kwa na pasta. Talk to me. Show me ni mekano kureche dem. Me mfa uni pa uye. Pleasure. And then I said, waste. The change of the glory. And today I want to talk to you about greed is not part of it. Number six is offenses. It's a fox. People can do very
very well to the point little little opportunity and the breakthrough they belong to a company a political party they have suffered they have worked it is left with only a little time and then the harvest begins they get offended and then they leave Many young girls have walked away from very good relationships because of offenses. Many preachers have walked away from the pulpit. People have broken away from ministries and now they go back, the ministry explodes, everything is going gloriously and they wish they can return. But offenses was the fox that denied them the opportunity. So many people are married. In their marriage, I mean, you were there. You did all the work just about when the breakthrough was coming. Offenses made you leave. This man went and married another woman. Now they are enjoying your labor because of offenses. Offenses have seriously denied so many people. And when I talk about offenses, I'm going even deep down to anger. Bitterness, pain, unforgiveness. Oh, just say, yeah, Christo for power. But, sir, my van chenonadi is here. A kumana pro ena. We see you won't come up. And we have a bit now. Yeah, you look beautiful. Nobody told you I have an eye for fashion. You look splendid for us. You look amazing, vivid, elegant. You look, you know, uh, uh, magnanimously elevated. You are, you are so beautiful, elegantly. God has honored you. But the heart, the command of bone, the heart is thinking. You are angry. You are bitter. Won't come in a chair. We can't see my joy. Won't come. Won't come. Yes, sir. Tia! Telling you true. Serious bitterness can turn you into a witch. Bitterness can turn you into a wizard. I'm telling you, you are praying in tongues, but you will have witchcraft. Because they chose somebody, they didn't choose you. You are bitter. Go and see bitterness in political parties. People are bitter, rough. And their bitterness can lead them to murder. They can murder you. Bitterness, when people are offended, they can go to the limits. The bitter, the offenses can push. See, this is why Jesus was saying, strive to enter into the narrow gate. Mom pray. Because a near man which is going to intercept, interrupt, and interfere are too many. And one of those is where you are angry about too many things. People can even bring their, their offenses into the presence of God when they begin to talk about things that tear them person. They can talk about when you make a some of Grana Mirubi be here. What do we say? Who no no Benya Miss Wong? What do we say? Can you talk like that to Antonia? No, let's be real. Let's talk. Can you talk that thing to Mohammed? Can you talk that thing to, you know, Kobri, Anna Tafu Bruku? They will kill you long time. I bet you don't have a cancer when I'm chilling. I'm a son of my bomb payana me when I knew you and all that. Who is a woman in Yamisu and you would be an God as a When I look at the goodness of God, it really amazes me. Yeah, yeah, drum my yeah, yeah, the tear son, them, yeah, crown why you did tear son, when you mean can one summer in the year. You are here talking back at God. Yeah, dear, when you mean, dear man, if God is going to deal with you according to your words, you will die like a dog. You will die like a dog. Who about the tenor? When you will be kununa, you when you make no one. You come here talking nonsense to God. We must whine a bit to me. I'm sorry, I can't say to you. I'm not going because you know they would defend their faith. You know that. A bosom no, a good fear. You are not talk nonsense to them. I don't go to the antum. Didn't I go to Shingo and you goofy? And so my goofy, dear Bentina, why are you here talking back at God? 
Amen. So, at the end, no, me I'm not someone. At the end, I'm not someone. I'm not someone. When we are the man, I'm not consuming man. At the end, why am I not? Huh? Even that one hour you come to spend here, you keep watching your clock and your time. People are seated here with nice, nice physique, nice dressing, and everything. But a suit, anybody, a four, a way a numino. I sometimes wonder where is the Holy Ghost. Where, where, on grown, grown away. Where is the Holy Ghost? Where is the Holy Ghost? I'm telling you. Offense is a fox. Offense is a fox. And that offense, you know, if I can't have it all, then I don't want part of it. Very soon you will be begging for the part. <laughs> no, no, no. Offense will do that. Bitterness, unforgiveness in our hearts. We are here still fighting the fight of our mothers. It's their own business. Let them deal with it. I have too much on my plate already. Please, you know, you are here now. Interesting. You know, people who are they are alive, they are dead and gone. You are here fighting useless battle. Save your strength. We have souls to win. Save your strength. We have souls to win. When you live in a country like Ghana where truth is not part of them, integrity is not part of them, where they live in mediocrity, everything they do is thinking and uh, the status quo. They be a font and time and they feel everything is normal. I mean, when you look at even the quality of the roads we construct, hospitals we construct and all stuff like that, you sit and then you cry because you realize that people do not even have the artistic vision to be able to do great things. When you live in a place like that, preaching the gospel becomes very difficult. Preaching the gospel becomes very difficult. Preaching Christ because now we feel like anything goes. I can come to church, recite some few recitations, sing four hymns, and then, you know, leave anyhow. Leave anyhow. I was telling you of a, a lady I watch on the news who is a blood donor. And the lady said, because I donate blood to save people, I don't live carelessly. And so I don't have business with this man and that man and this man and that man. Ghana bind to Yanaka, Obia Manehe, and that will be Koyimuja, the Ayamano, Anesi Ahono, this way chocolate drink, Biana, Biyamano, no one. Asa! But the lady stood on my television and said that because I'm a saver of life and a blood donor, I don't live carelessly. We are here and we don't have that standards. When the blood of Christ have washed you, filled with the Holy Spirit, and you feel like anything can come out of your mouth and any behavior and character can, you know, Obama, when it doesn't mean it's okay. When prophecy is on your head, say me, Gina, hey, I don't know a friend, yeah, when you're media friend, and you'll be an ability, me, I am a downfall, and your baby, and me, to me, a cognati, and you be an ability, me, and your will be an ability, me, in a dear crow, a dear back, a time, and when you're me, and you're so a pig, I was showing when you're not my, my, a crow, and not a yet time when you're me. And the way to front, touching away to front, who be way to now who be a way new and all that. You are born again. You are a child of God. Come in a jai. You are born again. You are a child of God. You are a woman of God. You are a man of God. Repent and align. Come back to your first love. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but the grace of God that brings salvation to all men have appeared. Unto all of us, teaching us to deny all ungodliness. Titus chapter 2 and verse number 10 and 11. The grace of God that brings salvation to all men. The Bible says, have appeared unto all of us, teaching us, teaching us, teaching us to deny all ungodliness. 
I love, I love that teaching. He's teaching every Sunday. He's teaching us. Obi bi zamu zamu the message full from here. Nihobi emu na msemi ewenza. Emuni eweni. Teaching us every day, denying ungodliness and worldly lust. Worldly lust. Atadi ebi ohonu mwa e ye fun. Ohon krun krun be kachira. E ye fun. The only reason why you put it on is to seduce another person. The person will who know. In my country, the, the, the things I see, you know. Senye hon kron kron pa na kriya kono e fri mi mwa. I'm telling you. Now, we'll be anywhere. It says, we'll find a mere sum. If we do not adhere with a chia, hon hon ni nyan kriya kono e fri mi mwa. Last must leave you. Last must leave you. Before you come, some of you are here, Juma, me person, me never had an I'm telling you the truth. At the end of your home, you you need to deny it. As I say, free room, automatically. The free room, and free room, I will be good when you want to see me be a kevra to use. And as I can imagine, Juma, we would be here. Yeah, who is you? Because I want you home because your conscience is dead. Yeah, would you be kuno on your home because your conscience is still dead? You know the way the the governments of Africa have become dead conscience. They don't care the cries of the people, the vulnerable. Look at people, the doctors that are seated here. Sometimes I ask myself, how do you feel when you appear in that hospital? How do you feel? Rusted beds, rusted louvers, broken places. I want to ask the Ghana Police Service: When are we going to use computers to receive statements of corporates? When are you going to stop writing with pen and paper? I went to JB Police Station many years ago when we had an accident. Me pour at JB Police Station and punching the I'm telling you the truth. I'm punching the guy on my quack or we he read on my baby poor reason. When are we going to stop writing? When Christ is in the life of somebody, he opens your eyes. When he be you. Oh man, I'm telling you the truth. It is a comfort to not be dreaming or come to us. We're going to hunger any any bit. For how many Christians no one sees you? No man at door and then at home no somehow. Who do you have to? No, I'm telling you to lose off on it. And I'm not talking about Alabasta. I'm talking about Ghana. This is your pastor. Ghana is off on it. In fact, who do you have to? I have a mandate to speak to you and it's an unflinching mandate. Unbarging mandate. They say, I've been a time at Obeco. I have a lot of time at Obeco. I have a lot of time at Obeco. I have a lot of time me do be kong kwa jie. Me do be kong dang kong. Ya. Me do be kong adum. Ah. You know. He free ye jin an kupone. Ne pa Yesu Christo. Ne wong kong kong. Me so wong sa de we ura. E kwa an tiyan tiyan e so. Di e wong kwa an pan wong. Di e ye janom. E fa su nyan hume. E di ma wong kong. I will pull you into eternal life. Would you mutai. Who be kong heaven. Ye ure mu na wong tena me riye me juma. Before we finish this service this morning, let the bitterness in your heart leave you. In ministry, people will hurt you. We feed people, they curse us. We bless people, they retain it with pain. You are going to learn to let go. Let it go. I mean, I know people I have blessed. People I took to universities. I paid their school fees and all that. 
it's okay. So I'm in the party. Papa Wunimu. And I'm in the party. I'm born in Su Wunimu. Obi ya enkaye wunimu. And I will be free. And Su Wunimu. It depends on the person how they want to use what is in them.